Hey, welcome to a video for a new assignment in our C-Sharp course. I'm going to show you in this video a preview of the application that we're going to be developing. You can see on the board here that I have a grid. This is supposed to look like a chessboard. We can select a piece, such as the knight, and click on the board. And what we're trying to do here with this application is show where the legal moves are for each kind of piece. So if you know anything about chess, it'll help you out a lot. So the knight moves in an L-shaped pattern, and you can see that the legal moves are two squares up, one square over, or one square up and two over, etc., all the way around. The other pieces look the same, where you have a rook, for instance. The rook has legal moves which are horizontal and vertical. The bishop is all about diagonal moves. And let's see, we have the king. The king can move one square in each direction or any direction. And the queen is the most powerful piece, can move in any direction, both horizontally and diagonally. So we're going to build a tool that will model a two-dimensional grid. So all of the buttons on the screen are a... Uh, represent a square on the chessboard. So we'll call them a cell. We'll have a class called a board, which will have a grid of uh, 64 cells. And then we'll have some operations that allow us to set the properties, such as legal move or occupied or out of bounds. That's going to be an important part. So like for instance, when you do the knight, you notice that when you click near the edge of the board, not all place places are legal moves. Some of them fall off the edge. So this will teach you a lot about uh, two-dimensional arrays, about error checking, and about holding a grid, like a board, in the uh, computer's memory. So this will prepare you for another application that we're about ready to create, the Minesweeper app, which is also a grid and has properties for cells. So let's get started in the next video in creating a version of our board.